Einstein's theory of general relativity was the first to predict gravitational waves. The theory describes these waves as disturbances in the curvature of space-time. Such disturbances come from the most violent and energetic events in the universe, including the collision of neutron stars or black holes. Gravitational waves are extremely hard to detect because they're very far away, and by the time they reach us, they get weaker. The first time we officially detected such waves was in 2015, when the LIGO Observatory detected waves coming from two black holes crashing into each other about 1.3 billion years ago. So it took 1.3 billion years for these waves to reach us. Before this discovery, everything we knew about the universe came from studying light waves. The discovery of gravitational waves gave us a new perspective. When massive objects orbit around each other, they disrupt space-time so that waves of Ripley space-time propagate in all directions away from the source. What's fascinating is that these waves travel at the speed of light, carrying information about their origin and the nature of gravity itself. All the matter in the universe exists in the fabric of space-time. Every massive object that accelerates produces gravitational waves carried out by space-time itself. These gravitational waves travel at the speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second or 186,000 miles per second. And as they travel, they squeeze and stretch anything in their path. But how do we know they travel at the speed of light? In 2017, LIGO and Virgo detectors observed gravitational waves coming from the merger of two neutron stars about 130 million light-years away, an event known as GW170817. When the gravitational signal came, it took an additional 1.7 seconds for light to arrive, the high-energy gamma rays from the collision. This was the official confirmation that the speed of gravitational waves equals the speed of light. You're probably wondering about that 1.7 second delay, which makes gravitational waves slightly faster than light speed. That's likely because gravitational waves pass through matter unperturbed, whereas light interacts electromagnetically and gets slowed down very slightly. Our sun is about eight light minutes away from us. If the sun suddenly disappeared, it would take eight minutes for Earth to feel the effects of gravity, as well as light for that matter. That means it would take eight minutes for us to experience the total absence of light and for Earth to get slingshot into the dark abyss of space. All massless things travel at the speed of light. Gravitational waves and the gravitons they're made of, assuming they exist, have no mass. Light itself is massless. The speed of light is not just about light. The speed of light is the speed at which information propagates through space-time. It's the universal speed limit. You can also think of light speed as the speed of causality or cause and effect. Nothing can cause an effect faster than this speed. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.